Good morning, Northern Michigan. We all know that summer is in full swing, and of course, you can't forget about the pets, especially when they're out there in the sun. Dr. Jen Klebundy joins us Good with morning. two precious little kitties. Yeah, these kitties have just been adopted by someone from our your TV station. That's right. They're going to have a home. They are available. Uh, we're available through AC Paws, and they're sweethearts today. Oh, they're just beautiful. Just want to be cuddled. So now tell me, we have some sunscreen here today, which I never knew even existed for pets. Yes, it is brand new because pets were dying of skin cancer, just like people do. And they needed to come up with a, with a sunscreen for pets, and they have. This is called EpiPet. Uh, we use it at our hospital, especially on white, white breed or short-coated dogs, and it works phenomenally. You spray it on, rub it in their coat, and they're all set for the sun. Okay, and, and what specific types of breeds would get skin cancer? Are, are some you know dogs or cats more prone to it than others? They are, absolutely, and that's going to be your white skinned and white furred dogs. Okay. Um, cats usually aren't as susceptible because they're not in the sun too much, but if they are, they're equally susceptible. Okay. Boxers are always prone to tumors, so they're you know very, very much at risk. But it, even if you have a golden retriever and you shave their coat for the summer, they're just as uh, at risk as any white, white haired dog. And what parts of their body, you know, paws, back, you yeah. know, face? Yeah, that's a great question. And most of all, their face, the bridge okay. of their nose, uh, the tips of their ears and their mouths. We'll have a picture here you can show that's one on a golden retriever that's on the mouth. So any area of the body that's in most uh, direct exposure to mm -hmm. the sun, they are, they are at risk. Now, say you're taking your dog out for a walk or you're going down to the beach. Is it something just as with a human, you would spray the animal down, put the sun screen on it? Correct. And that would last all day or would you, you reapply? You're going to have to reapply, especially after they go in the water. But okay. one thorough coat, if for the face, you spray it on your fingers and just wipe the bridge of their nose like that, put it on their ear tips, um, reapply only if they've gone in the water, it lasts all day. Okay. What about, I know, um, you know, people who have indoor cats, say your cat sits in the window, would that be something too you may, maybe want to put the sunscreen on? It, it would be. It's not a bad idea because okay. any direct sunlight can cause the same problems in any pet. So if your okay. cat, your white cat especially, likes to sit in the window, put it on. Where would you get something like this? For this your... is available at our hospital, and as okay. I know of, we're the only people that offer that. But it is something that you don't need a prescription for. You can just stop in and, and pick some up, even if you're not clients. And if, you know, you think something is obviously on your pet that, that looks like the, the picture that we showed with the, with the skin cancer, right. best thing to do, call your vet. Absolutely. Yeah, it's something that we need to take off or get have evaluated immediately. Okay. Um, the longer that it sits on your skin, if, it's, if it is cancer, it, it can spread to the rest of the body. And so we, we want to get it looked at and get it off as quickly as we can. All right. Well, perfect. And of course, these little guys are going to have a nice home, two beautiful kitties. And Dr. Klebundy, thank you as always. Thank you, Melissa. For more information on the sunscreen that we just showed you and how to apply it to your cat or your dog, check out our website, upnorthlife.com. I will post a direct link to Northwood Animal Hospital.